Hey guys, if your kids are anything like mine, they have gone gaga over these hand spinners. So today we are actually talking about these hand spinner fidgets. Um, I can't tell you how many articles I've seen over the last 24 hours of people talking about how awful these hand spinner fidgets are. Not necessarily for kids, but in the classroom. How they're disruptive, how they're getting banned from school, um, how they're evil. I mean, they're going to ruin education and that will be that, the end of civilization as we know it. So let's talk for a minute about these hand spinners. If you don't know what I'm talking about, here is a hand spinner. All right. It actually is a piece of pla often a piece of plastic. All right. Three points. And then inside here, they're actually ball bearings that allow you to spin it around. All right. You can spin it with one finger. I'm sorry. I'm not very agile this morning, apparently. Um, and as you get better about it, you can actually just spin it, flick it around. It kind of feels good when you're using it. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. But these hand spinners. Okay. I feel like in this discussion, when people are talking about banning them from classrooms and talking about what an issue it is, people are really missing the bigger picture of what these hand spinners are. I understand that many people are looking at these as just a simple toy. And perhaps for some children, it is just a simple toy. But the fact is, for a lot of kids, it is an important fidget. Actually, for a lot of adults, it's also an important fidget. I know that when I worked in corporate America, I always had the best fidgets. I mean, people wanted to have their meetings in my office because they knew they would get their hands on the best fidgets. Because I am someone who, when I'm thinking and concentrating, it's better for me to have something in my hand that allows me to focus more on what I need to get done. So, you know, fidgets have a purpose and a place in, um, in classrooms. This is not the problem. People are concerned about these things becoming these toys that take over the classroom. But when we're talking about, are these gonna take over the classroom, we need to rewind for a minute and actually think about the kinds of tools that we bring into the classroom to help kids. The fact is, in my son's classrooms, there are kids that have yoga balls for seats. There are kids that have those great rubber bands that are tied at the bottom of their chairs. There are kids that have like a whole stack of rubber bands, my son does, because he likes to kind of put it between his fingers and then he flicks it. Um, it's a really good one. He can put it in his pocket. They're always readily available. Um, other kids have other kinds of fidgets as well. So it's not like we're introducing these suddenly these tools that are not in the classroom. Teachers consistently have to work with figuring out, one, what will help the child focus and work better in the classroom without being a distraction to the rest of the students. I know that when we originally introduced fidgets for my son, um, when I think he was in first grade, you know, at that age, they're still figuring it out. And in the beginning, we did have to remove some of the fidgets or whatnot because rather than using them as the tool that they need to be, um, they became a distraction until he started figuring out how to use them properly. You know, I think a lot of times we give kids these tools and say, okay, well, they'll help you now without really thinking about teaching kids how to use the tools, why they have the tools, and the fact that there's a responsibility that goes with these tools. I mean, whether they're in first grade or not, they understand that there is a responsibility. So when we're talking about these fidgets, the fidgets are not the evil problem, all right? They really aren't. Yes, this is a fad right now. I know kids are going nuts over these things, but the fact is, is that they do have a place. They can be helpful for both adults and kids, people with ADHD, people with sensory issues, or just you know needing something to focus on other than um, you know staring at the teacher so they can listen better. Um, you know, not everyone does better listening just because they're looking at you eye to eye. So, all right, let's talk about these fidgets as well so that you understand what they are, okay? So again, a lot of them are pieces of plastic, not all of them are, but some of them are metal, um, and they have ball bearings inside. These are not toddler toys, all right? That should be said, these are for kids who are older. 
Um, when I say older, I mean, you know, understanding these things don't go in their mouth, that kind of thing. Um, and, um, you know, some of them are better made than others. I know that some of them can be pretty expensive, um, upwards of $20. The fact is my, one of my sons saved up his money and, um, got a spinner that he absolutely adores. And actually, if you look below, you'll see the link to our five favorite spinners. They have spent hours watching videos on spinners and deciding which ones to try out and it has been crazy. So here I'm going to show you two today that we really love. Okay. Um, the first one you've seen me throwing around, uh, I really like this one. It's, uh, it's a decent construction, uh, or construction, sorry. Um, it, it's less money than a lot of the others. You will see ones out there floating around for $3 or $4. But be careful if you're buying those. Um, yes, most of these are made in China, or a lot of them are. But the fact is, like if you go to Amazon and you go buy the $3 one for a dollar shipping, you may literally getting it from a slow boat from China. Like you may not receive it for four weeks, five weeks, six weeks. So just be aware. Um, this one I believe right now is just under $10. It's free shipping, it does come directly within a couple days. So uh, when you are making those purchases, be aware. This one we love in particular because it's glow in the dark, which means so we pop it underneath a lamp. It sits there for half an hour before bedtime. We can turn it off and it is really cool. I won't lie to you. Um, thinking about glow in the dark, there are ones with lights on them. I just keep hearing that those lights break really fast. Maybe two out of the three work. So just be aware that when you're buying them, the LED lights I am hearing uh, break more. So just, you know, heads up on that. Uh, the one that my sons are really also in love with, and I don't know if you can really see it here. Do you see the, the colors on this one? It, this is all metal. Um, they love the heaviness of it. I mean, it feels like a good weight in your, um, in your hands. And I mean, it really is cool. It's a little smaller. See, look, I'll show you. It's a little smaller than the other one. Um, so it feels, you know, it's a little more manageable for smaller hands, um, but it, uh, it feels heavier. It has kind of a gyroscope effect. So when you spin it, I can actually feel it pushing against my hands as I try to move the gyroscope. And I kind of, I don't know, I like that. It feels good. I'll just sit here and do this for a little while. Uh, and, um, so that feels really good. And, uh, they all make different sounds, except for one, we found a wheel one, you'll see, and it's really silent. But this one makes a really, really cool sound. Let's see, I don't know if it'll pick it up, but it makes this really nice sound. It's not uh, intrusive, it's just lightly there. So um, this is the other one that my son really loved. And he did personally save up his money to buy this one. And he has informed me that he made the correct purchasing choice, which I think is hysterical when they talk like that. Um, but here are just two of the options. Of course, the other ones are floating around the house. And because I'm a mom, I can never find half the things in the house anyway. So, but here are two options. Uh, leave questions below if you have questions about spinners. But again, this is just a really another great hand tool option for you. Um, there are lots of other fidgets and I'm actually working on um, a fidget post for you all so you can kind of see some of what our favorite fidgets are. Um, but these are two of our favorites. Um, this one's the less expensive one. It, glow in the dark is great. There's a, there's a camouflage one, looks really cool. Um, and then this metal one feels really good as well. Um, but all five of them that I have in our post, I would highly recommend um, personally. And we really do like these fidgets. And, and I expect these fidgets to wax and wane in our house. I mean, just like with anything we have, they're great for a while. Then maybe after a month or two, they go away for a little bit and then they rediscover them. Um, that's kind of how the fidgets rotate in our house. It's not like we have one for like the whole year. Things seem to rotate in and out. And that's not uncommon either. But, you know, they're great. Adults, kids. But, um, you know, let me know if you have any questions about the fidgets. And I'll see you next time.